is run. The girls are young. The odds are there to be. You win a while, and then it's done. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good day. Good evening. Anytime you're listening, let it be God to you. Let it be good to you. You live your life as if it's real. Um. A thousand kisses deep. Today, uh. As I say, first, in a series of uh, a mystery, no mystery school, we'll touch a uh, various subjects. As you're noticing from title, like a global title, it's a present information stream will be about the planetary evacuation about star people, about God. Um, today we'll talk about love. It is not just love in general, we'll, we'll kind of uh, dissect it a little bit, uh, try to find, uh, not like a frogs in the schools or uh, any kind of live animals, but we will dissect through ourselves, see what uh, what is really love made from and how we can integrate ourselves, our physical selves, into this stream of life. And sometimes when Today's uh, dedicated uh, video to our star brothers and sisters, Arcturians, we who absolutely do amazing job in healing individually many of us they are specially trained to do this and they're trained for thousands of years to help us and to actually guide us into healing process or through healing process with all the difficulties that we put ourselves in and some others as well. Oh, thank you dear brothers and sisters from Arcturus. They mostly come in a, in a team, sorry, in a groups. But very dedicated. If you think you are dedicated for something, it doesn't matter, making money, building houses, making churches, and you do this for 20, 30, 40 years. You didn't see this. They do this for hundreds of thousands of years. To be able to specifically help a certain situation that will arise in the future. Future of the terms uh, where time exists in a linear form. So today's title is called like this: uh, Is it love a voluntary act? So creating anything takes an effort, takes uh, an intent takes an idea. So you want to create a house. You start with an idea. Okay, I would like to have a house. So you start to specify a little bit more what design we are to locate. What is the purpose of this house? That's a key, so just Remember this we little part. The purpose is a very important element in, in creation. A thousand kisses deep. The ponies run. 
So the girls are young. Building the something are there to be. is easy when you go in, you in these steps from why. idea to and then it's done. let's call it design Your to little manufacturing dream. to putting all this together and then having a, a final product. Well, with love is even more simple because we first we thought this is something only belonging to two people different sexual orientation that they hugging each other and kissing this is what for most of people love is sometimes love is when mother loves a child when it's behaving well and this is where we stop I'm talking general terms don't quote me like as a it's not accusation to anybody of you who already figured this out so with love is an almost instant process and I'm talking through unconditional love which is created somewhere from within it's not even created from your mind or your analytical way of seeing world like do I love this one better or do I love that one better let's call it buying a skirt okay or you're choosing between two women I like this one better I love this one better it cannot be it cannot be love doesn't have a preference you love this woman you love that one you love this shirt you love this skirt absolutely the same but we as a humans we like to put gradation on everything we have to be you know better every time we have a more love for this team or that team or we love our national uh, colors rather than the other anti-national colors there are across the border absolute nonsense love has first of all no border love has no ability to choose what is better because for love is absolutely all the same See how many times you're using this word in vocabulary. You love this car, but when you have to say it to your children, you choke. Or if you have to say it to a person that is just like, you know, beautiful to you, and you want to say, my dear brother, sister, I love you. And the judgments are severe. And I'm not accusing you, it's just, just a way how we've been programmed. But now, time comes that we start feeling it. Like it's absolute time. That you are the one who can create this love, same as you created all of your beautiful things in your life. Let's call it physical things. You are creating houses, you are creating uh, situations, uh, relationships, pictures, uh, movies, whatever you are doing, you're making bread, like you are creating bread. But do you see that even when you're doing this, it's part of this creation, there's your integral, you, is implementing it to this piece of bread. And it, as much as you're becoming conscious of this, this becomes this bread becomes more tasteful, becomes fully alive just to be able to feed somebody else or you. Who am I? Why am I here? When I'm done rolling up this bugger, should I eat it or throw it out the window? Feels good. So 
but that's a nice analogy if you if you create something anything with love if you actually feel others energetically mechanically like physically but it was if it was created by let's call it machine then what for the I can tell you I can feel the difference between a bread that it was handmade and the one that was made by a machine it has no substance it has flour it has salt whatever but it has no substance so where this love is coming from let's be alone together who's the main instigator to let's see produce this where that's from. it's you it's me yeah let's do something crazy something absolutely it's almost like wrong. imagine a pool of absolute huge sea the water everywhere and this water is actually Every drop can contain itself so much power of love that it can build another universe. And it's there for us, ready. So how we tap into it? By choice. By choosing. Because this way, we recognizing our connection with the Creator. Not the other way, that only if we behave well, then the Creator will drop a couple of drops on our tongue and then we'll be so happy for some time. No. We are the ones who have to create this bridge towards creation, towards this pool of love, which is endless, absolutely endless. Don't blame people around, don't blame situations. They're just there for you to discover what we what we are discovering together in this process of uh, ascension, let's call it. Group ascension, collective ascension, planetary ascension. Many of you reading the title, Planetary Evacuation, you know what does it mean? planetary ascension. Because you really don't want to be on the planet when it goes into the star. No matter what your personal opinion on material things and uh, how come you know God can turn a planet into into the star, it can. He will. He did it billions of times. So now what? You want to discuss with him? Oh no, this is my property. Like you don't, uh, don't you dare. None of this was your property. None. Talk many times about this. None of this belongs to you. But when you figure out this truth, then you know that everything is yours. Only then. So if you want to expand more on, on love, we have like a, a little energetic machinery inside of us which is people call it soul people call it uh, spirit now let's say with the soul okay. this is where we becoming aware first of all 
we know who, who we are, kind of, most of us. But then what we do with this who we are? What we do with this soul of ours when we realize that we can create just by intent? That we start being very grateful to this connection that we discovered with the Creator. So, creating love, very simple. You can love yourself, you can love others, you can love nature, you can love planet, you can love Arcturians, you can love all the star people. Just love them. Don't expect anything in return from them because you love them. Save me, save me. No. Your love will save you, that you create. So as much love you can create, I'm talking about unconditional love, not the love that always asking in return. This is actually not love, this is uh, a bothering, this is like we're doing an exchange. No, love doesn't do exchanges, love just gives. And as much as you give, it's actually becoming your, your heart becoming a stronger and stronger machine who can create more love. So this is what you feel from people like I am. You feel my heart. This is when you feel when you talk with somebody who is just pure with a little baby, doesn't matter, small little baby, but he has an enormous heart. And this is a vibration that I would like you to start recognizing that you have it too. But you have to intentionally work with yourself. You have voluntarily decide to have love rather than anything else. In the beginning you'll trick yourself very often that you will love other and then attach a string there. So he has to love you back or she has to give you this or I love doing this but I don't have money. So this is not love. Love is just you do it. anything in return, absolutely anything, or nothing, I think this is more problem. Yeah, to conclude about love as a, a voluntary act. Love is the only creative force only creative force. Love is not destructive at all. But maybe to your ego. Because ego wanna get stuck with material means, with ownerships, with titles, with better than other, with controlling other. So love is very destructive to your ego. Be ready to face destruction of your ego. No matter what. You are absolutely swiped with Creator's loving energies. And it comes in waves, many waves. It's not only three waves that uh, 
we kind of putting together, putting out. We have so many waves already. And I'm talking for tens of years, last couple of decades, we're doing this very, very consciously, increasing slowly. So you don't actually burst like this condom in the, in the last video that I'm, I'm joking about. Or until the point that you will burst like the condom, but filled with love. You will not be able to contain yourself. When I say I love you all, I truly, absolutely mean it. And you can feel it. So. Can I ever repay you? Well, the reward would be good. There is some damage to my car. It's a high-performance machine, so I had to fill it with premium. Long, 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 long